Hi, it's Mickey from the Cell Phone Junkie here, and I am with Joey. Joey's over hey. here. He is actually the one in the driver's seat right here. We are, I'm going to try and give you a look here, driving through the middle of New Mexico right now. We are on our way down to the Phoenix area, and just wanted to show you what the Cell Phone Junkie uh, vehicle looks like as we're driving on the road. So let's take All right, so we've got Joey, and Joey has trusty old Palm Centro here. Franken-Centro. Franken-Centro. I don't know if we've ever actually showed this one off, Joey. It's, uh, so this is Joey Centro right here. As you can see, he's got the red keyboard on it with the the green, green rest of it. How did this all come about? Uh, toilet. Dropped it in the toilet? Yep. And, and it in the toilet. changed colors on you? <laughs> keyboard stops working, the green keyboard. Ah, uh, gotcha. So we ended up having the green Centro here. With the, in, in fact, the, the red, keyboard. red keyboard actually is, I like the red keyboard better because it's not the soft touch that they introduced with the second generation models of Centro's. Kind of hard to see that from the video, but yeah, it's a, it's a little bit different of a keyboard there. But that's Joey. Joey's got his trusty Centro here. Put that back. And uh, so next thing we've got here is we've got the BlackBerry Curve 8530. This is the Verizon model. And uh, based on where we are right now, we've got full 3G service there, so that's very nice. Next one here, this is a Sanyo SCP3200, I think, and uh, I don't know if we can see the coverage there, but uh, full service on that Sprint phone there as well. And then we have the Sprint Overdrive here. This is what's providing us with our in-car Wi-Fi. You can see we've got full service there on 3G, so that's working very well for us. Then I've got my iPhone right here, which uh, plugged in, of course, to keep it going. <laughs> Otherwise, it wouldn't make it, but that's okay. Uh, connected Wi-Fi to the overdrive. And then uh, we got a multitude of computers, but that's not really what we're using because it's a little bit more difficult. We've got the iPad here, and this one is connected to the, uh, the overdrive as well. So that's kind of fun and to be able to play with that through the connection here as well. So that's... That's how we go. As you can see right now, we are on I-40, somewhere outside of, uh, between Gallup and Albuquerque right now. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the service that we've had along the route here. So we've traveled through, we're going to travel through eight different states. We're in state number seven of eight right now. And we've got three different services that we're testing out, obviously AT&T, Verizon, and Sprint. And it's kind of been a tale of two different types of things. We've got, obviously, voice is one, and data is a complete other animal here. I mean, you know, we've been playing around with, uh, obviously, all these different technologies as, as one person has been driving and the other person can kind of play. And so, we'll start off with the, on the voice side. And it's been pretty solid on all the carriers, I think. I don't think we've had any issues. A little issue with uh, where we were in Kansas, the Kansas, west yeah. side of Kansas yesterday. We had, uh, I couldn't make a call for the life of me, even though I was showing plenty of service coverage, you know, supposedly on Sprint, on the Centro. It showed three, four bars of service, but completing a phone call was completely not possible. It just would not make, it just said dialing, and then it would just dump back to the home screen. Uh, your Verizon phone at the exact same time, Mickey, did the exact same thing. It just says could not complete call. And uh, that was very misleading because it showed three, four bars of service as well. Yeah, and I, it's hard to say when you're trying to make a call, you look at the bars and you're thinking, well, that should be able to tell me where we're at. But uh, unfortunately, that was a little bit of a misnomer. And in that particular case, we were able to pull out the iPhone and both make calls just fine. Yep, the, the uh, GSM coverage seemed to work okay. It was on edge at the moment, so... Yeah. Now, taking a look at, at the other areas that we've been, obviously AT&T not always the best, Verizon not always the best, as much as we would seem to think that one of the two could have been. Sprint has been actually very good um, for the most part as well, so no real problems. We've been on mostly major interstates for, I would say, probably two-thirds of it. We spent a significant amount of time um, on a side road going through Kansas, uh, part of Oklahoma, and you know Texas, what? It and into New Mexico. It wasn't in Kansas, it was Oklahoma was the trouble with it was Sprint. Oklahoma, Kansas yeah. had full 3G uh, EBDO the entire way through Kansas. We've got a little theory about that. We kind of feel like, you know, Sprint's home territory, Kansas, 
got to have good coverage. That must be it. That's my, that's my assumption. So we're playing around with with uh, with the voice there now. Data, totally different thing. Um, on the different phones, let's talk about the easy one first here. On the iPhone, it has been Edge, I would say, 90% of the time, if not GPRS. There was a time when GPRS was the only thing that this was picking up uh, through parts of Kansas. And so it's been really nice to have the Sprint Overdrive here so that we could tether the iPhone over to that via a Wi-Fi connection and get the 3G service, which brings me to think, talk about Sprint, which, thinking back from the last cross-country trip that I had, I mean, 3G, I didn't even think was in our minds, number one, but number two, I mean, th I mean, it's been 3G almost the whole way. Yeah, it really has been. It's been uh, an amazing, uh, I mean, I actually did some work on the, uh, the laptop. I pulled out the, uh, the Dell and, uh, did a you know remote connection desktop into uh, my work and did some server work uh, through Des Moines on EVDO and it worked uh, worked brilliant. Yeah, it's pretty amazing that it's it's almost like we're uh, you know sitting anywhere that you know a coffee shop or anywhere that you don't have a home broadband connection. I and mean, that's really what we have here. I, I you know I could show you where we're at, but I'll just show you this. To, you know the Sprint Overdrive, uh, of course, okay. just a reflection. Just a reflection, naturally, because it's a glass screen. It's full 3G service. We're in the middle of, of uh, nowhere, what I, nowhere yeah. basically, here. So, so it's it's pretty impressive, for the most part, that they're able to, to provide the service that they do uh, on such a wide area. I mean, this trip is about 1,800 miles for us, and it's you know been pretty good. I mean, there's been very few areas where we haven't been able to use our phones. You know, it's easy to take it for granted, this you know mobile data service, but it, it, if you really take a step back and think of how amazing it is to, and how many towers are required, you know, how many towers we've actually communicated with on this trip, it is really mind-blowing and how much and how expensive all that equipment actually is. I, I really find that just amazing and fascinating. Well, it's it's good news for those that are looking to do traveling across the country. Incoming call. Press you connect button. Of course, something is calling something. Anyway, let's push the button. Hello? It's not even a call, it's a text message. Star anyway, 4. Star 4 shows, I don't know. Car is connected to the Sprint phone and apparently it just shows up. Anyway, uh, but anyway, the point was is that it's pretty interesting if you're someone who is traveling across the country that you know wants to test out different services. We've had relatively good luck with all of them for the voice side. Definitely would recommend one of the CDMA carriers if you're doing any sort of traveling. The maps are accurate. If you're out of Verizon, you're 3G pretty much the entire way. Uh, Sprint, surprisingly, has, like I said, been very good. So unless you're really looking to, uh, you know, I guess use an iPhone or whatever, it's it's probably the best way to go, and especially if you want to do any computer work too. That's right. So anyway, just a little uh, little brief discussion there on the stuff that we've seen. Having fun here driving across the country.